Hi guys, welcome to this week's highlights, week 25. And today I will be showing you the Asian carpenter ants I got in my ant room collection. So let's start by the big black shiny Campanotus japonicus, or more commonly known as the Japanese carpenter ant. The Asian variant of Campanotus herculianus. Uh, these can be found in East, in East Asian countries. Um, like China, Japan, Taiwan, and North and South Korea. Uh, the queen measures around 16 to 18 millimeters, and the workers may vary from 6 to 15 millimeters. Uh, this colony I have here was given to me by a friend who didn't want to keep them anymore, and uh, they have been with me for almost six months now. The colony has three queens and around uh, 20 workers. Their development is on the slow side. They seem to be to be, to be very shy and reclusive. Uh, they don't like light and they run away from it whenever I try to inspect them. They react negatively to live insects, which is troublesome. And I have to pre-kill every every bug I try to give them. On the other hand, they love. Sh sh sugary subst substances like honey water, maple syrup and uh, other liquids. Um, they don't hibernate in winter, but the queen will stop laying eggs. Um, this colony under my care, uh, uh, they have been stabilized and have laid many eggs, but uh, in my opinion their development is really really slow compared to the others. Uh, an interesting fact about this species is that uh, it serves as a host to a parasitic Polyrhachis species uh, called Polyrhachis lamellidens. Uh, just a quick disclaimer here, these photos that I'm going to show to you do not belong to me. I take no credit for them. I got them from a Japanese website called Antroom, which link can be found in the description below. So the overtaking of the colony by this uh, parasitic queen can be described in four sa stages. The Polyrhachis queen finds a potential nest and captures a worker from this colony to copy as its scent. Then the Polyrhachis queen enters the nest, well camouflaged by her new scent, and searches for the Campanotus japonicus queen, or queens. She then uh, moves on to killing the host queen or queens and completes her takeover. In the final stage, the, the Polarakis queens starts laying her own e eggs and has the Campanotus japonicus workers tending for her and her eggs, completely unaware of the murder of their original queen. Now moving on to another, another species, Campanotus auriventris, the golden green carpenter ant. A black ant with a fantastic gold green iridescence on their abdomen when exposed to light. They can be found in Southeast Asian countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Myanmar, and Vietnam. They are medium sized ants, the queen measuring up to 14 millimeters, and the workers go from 5 to 12 millimeters. They are one of the fastest Campanotus to go through the foundation stage I have ever kept. Uh, I caught seven queens and all except one managed to get workers within one month and with uh, great numbers uh, from five to eight workers each. For me this is fantastic, I have never uh, kept any Campanotus like this. Uh, they are also very fast moving ants. They are diurnal ants and even in the extreme heat of the day. Uh, I've ex excavated the nest before and uh, the soil was soft, easy to dig and the chambers was very interesting because the chambers were at a constant height around 15 centimeters below the surface and the whole nest ran for five meters in a straight line. Uh, the colonies I have now are small and shy but they are developing really nicely. Uh, I have recently moved two of them into proper outworlds and will keep you guys posted on their future developments. Finally, and to end this video, 
a Campanotus colony, which I believe is either Campanotus irritans or pseudo irritans. And I have to be honest, I struggle a lot to to identify these colored Campanotus uh, here in Asia, because the queen color variation that occurs within the same species is li is big, and some have lighter tones, darker tones, making them look different. So, if anyone has any idea or any clue of uh, what this species is from these clips, please let me know in the comments section below. I would uh, really appreciate it. Uh, nonetheless, uh, not being sure what uh, the species is, I'm loving them. Uh, these first nanotics with golden yellow colors are just stunning. Uh, the queen was caught around the same time as the Auroventress queens, but the first workers came a little bit later. And uh, but they are also doing. They also seem to be doing fine. And uh, she has laid a bunch of new eggs uh, since then. So guys, uh, th for today's this is all for today's videos of this week's highlight. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you did. Give a thumb up, thumb up, or and uh, never shy away from commenting. I uh, love to know your feedback. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.